You need to buy a real flashlight. That ham you're using is like fifty dollars a kilo. It's That's better not- than the cup and gum. Man, can you just stop fucking my food? Okay, I shouldn't have to argue with you about this. Matt, are we live? I thought you had finished. 237 countries. Holy shit. Holy shit. Welcome to the podcast, episode number 15. That's 95 in total. And my God, have we been fucked. We're recording this on a Thursday. We usually record on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. So it's later in the week. And the reason for that is, remember, we went to Sydney to film a social media commercial with Menulog and McDonald's. And we filmed all the behind the scenes. We got Julian up and then we fucking, we rocked up, didn't we? And what happened, Michael? What did we do? Hey, what did we do? We put our bags away and then we went out to dinner. We got Italian. And then the hunt for weed began. Yeah. Holy shit. I can't remember your name because my memory's all fucked. Oh yeah, fuck. We forgot his name. But dude. The guy who set us up and came and drove all the way from the outer suburbs into the city with a shitload of weed. Bosley! And just let us smoke in his car. Rolled it for us. Thank you so much. So what happened was Julian put a story on his Snapchat. We thought my, we thought Julian knew this guy. We thought, oh, it's just one of Julian's little fucking um, mates in, in Sydney. And um, he rocks up um, and then Julian's like, oh, no, I, didn't, I don't know him. And he was just a legend and he watches the podcast and he's fucking, he was there with his girlfriend, both legends, and just fucking, they helped us out. They, we got high as fuck. And he we gave got- us so many joints as, as he left and we smoked all of them. Yeah, we got home and we did some fucking, we, there's some weird footage of us. You I s- was still high in the morning. Yeah, when we had to go film the commercial. And yeah, there is, we got strange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Julian had his own room. Me and Marty had one. So, we're sort of playing like, well, I was flirting with Julian, like playing knock and run. And I'd sort of wait for him to come out. But then I got aggressive and started hitting him. And then yeah. I'd lock the door and run away. He got yeah. upset. Sorry, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Sydney. And then what happened last weekend on the weekend? What happened? What did we do on the weekend? Um, we hung out with Jackson and oh, we yeah? watched some UFC. Yeah, we went to watch UFC. He's got a new cinema room. Oh, yeah. uh, can we? Oh, oh. <coughs> we can probably say that by now. What? Yeah, we can. He's okay. here. Jackson's in Michael's room right now, masturbating. Yeah. And um, yeah, we had a good weekend last week's just typical crazy week filming fucking shit. Holy fuck! That's right. We had a successful experiment and it was the reaction from our members has been pretty insane. I don't think we've, there's ever been a, vi- a website video with such a reaction from, from members. Yeah. They, we, there was like what? Over 50 UMO University of Michael posts. More, in their more group. now. There's like fucking heaps. Anyway, just people were just so shocked and it worked. That's the shocking thing. So as last podcast, we said that we ate a whole fucking kilo of corn and then the next day we came back. We shat the corn into a sieve, we washed all the poo off, we boiled the corn, and then we, well, Michael in particular, my corn, I chewed too much. It wasn't really usable, so I had to- (laughs) Looked like pad thai, like mixed up pad thai. So I had to have a a little bit of, one corn kernel of Michael's. I just wanted to see what the texture was. And Michael had a whole bowl of his recycled corn, therefore, in a way, offering a solution for poverty and hunger once this goes big because it's going to like it just hasn't got enough eyes on it yet because we got to we got to set up like we, a we meeting got, with the mayor next we week got to get Brisbane. we got to get investments in we got to sort sponsorships here we could feed africa we, we've actually got a meeting with the mayor you know that now don't you we told you we messaged him, him, messaged him, 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 him on instagram, instagram. We're going to see the mayor. One, uh, this is no shit we, we literally messaged the mayor of brisbane once this experiment worked and we're organizing a meeting with him he doesn't know what this meeting's about yet we're going to do a presentation we're going to be, put brisbane on the map anyway because it's not on there at the moment it's just gatton and then sydney that, <laughs> what did that happen i don't know okay okay <laughs> um yeah, so basically, once this goes big, all right, and everyone knows about this, starving people need to start shutting the fuck up. 
Good. Now you've got a fucking, now you've got a, a solution for your problem. Oh, I'm hungry. Get some corn, eat it, shit it out, wash it, eat it again and again and again, and stop your fucking whinging. All right? I don't want to hear another word of it. Because there's so many problems in the world. This one's fixed. Go away. We did that now, all right? Done. Moving on to the next one, all right? Now, if you want to see that video, it is, of course, on the website. Now, we can't post that to social media. Everyone's annoyed that we can't post it. It's us shitting in a bucket and fucking washing it and eating it again. Of course, we can't post that to social media. We can't even... We shouldn't even be talking about this on social media. Well, yeah, now, like, people are going to start doing it. But we need it to blow up. We don't want to monetize off this. We don't want to fucking make money. We just... We just want to help the world and just shut complaining, starving people up. Yeah, so we've done that now. We fucking helped them with our fucking whinging and crying around and we fucking solved it for them we now. We fed the so world. So shut up. Shut up about it. And we move on to the next. Now, another annoying thing. You may have noticed there's been ads on our podcasts. This was so fucking oh annoying. We got an email from YouTube being like, We've changed our terms and services. No, 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 no. And then you go down. Let me fucking read it. Let me read it for you guys. The email sneaky, that I got. <clears throat> Let me just quickly find this. So many fucking emails. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> email from YouTube. YouTube's right to monetize. YouTube has the right to monetize all content on the platform and ads may appear on videos from channels not in the YouTube partner program. So the fuck is that? So that's that means unbelievable. that YouTube can now put ads on any demonetized videos and they keep all of the money. All of it. So YouTube's gone and put not one or two ads in our podcasts, 15 ads in all of our podcasts. That's like on our earlier podcast. That is one every two minutes. That's so fucked up. That completely ruins the, the viewing experience. So we've just spent all day going through all 95 podcasts and removing all ads. I don't know if that's, they'll probably hurt our reach and we're probably not going to get any views anymore. But fuck me, the growth on this podcast has been so hot to watch. We read every single comment, by the way. So keep them coming. I stay up so late reading the comments. I get good laughs. I get fucking so excited to see the likes going up, the subscribers going up, and the comments going up. Last, last week's podcast is like one of the most liked podcasts already. So if you can't support us in any other way, support us by commenting, liking, and subscribing. That's all you got to do. And if you don't know what to comment, just comment the best. Because that's what we fucking are. Yeah. And going from that to the most maximum way you can support us, you can go to the University of Michael website. That's where the shit eating video, sorry, corn recycled eating video is. That's where we solve That's where all our hunger. fucked up shit is that we're not allowed to post to YouTube or any other social media platform because they're so sensitive. Right. Also, every week there's like a 30 minute... 20 to 30 minute vlog that comes out from our behind the scenes of the week all that shit yeah plus the fucked up experiment so free for 21 days if, if you can just want to have a look you can just watch the corn shit video and then you can unsubscribe if you want and they've told us to stop saying that they've said please stop saying that because it's ridiculous did they yeah email oh yeah but the other sponsor of course is manscaped now, if you want to buy some male grooming products, we highly recommend Manscaped. Michael's going to demonstrate how to use it right now. He's got a very hairy little cock. Yeah, I've been, I haven't been shaving for a while. You haven't been fucking. You haven't been fucking, have you? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Lots of hair coming off there. Now, be careful with the ball shavers, okay? Just because they're extra protective doesn't mean that you can use it willy-nilly. We want you to use it carefully because you can still get your sack nicked. They got heaps of other cool shit. And if you want 20% off, use our discount code fully actual. That's all you gotta do. Fully actual 20% off. Boom. And you can if you so if you need to buy a hair fucking shaver, you might as well get 20% off from manscapes.com. Alright? Let's go over and fucking show them some support because they're supporting this podcast. Sorry to pause, but Ooh. Michael, are you gonna smoke your own pubes? I was thinking about it. Yeah, that's a yeah, great idea. It, I dare you. Oh, so Can I have a light just, up? Please? Michael's just shoved his pubes that he's just shaved with the Manscaped Inst shaver into a pipe. And now he's going to smoke them. <laughs> now, nah, it should be a really nice sort of smell. Looking forward to it. Very red pubes, aren't they? Bright red. This isn't going to go well. Oh, you can hear it. Pull, put it over to oh, the mic. Oh, it's going to hurt the lungs. P put it, I want to... 
No, put the flame to the mic. It's a funny sound. Fuck up. That's oh so my fucked. God. You're disgusting. You're a disgusting person, Michael. What's, is everything's Sponsored by Manscaped. Everything's oh, more- <laughs> it's in me. Oh, there's so much hair. My throat. I feel like the reaction from the because my, my Michael and I after the corn shitting eating video <sighs> were like, oh yeah, just another video. Then the reaction came out, and then we realised that. We have been so desensitized to disgusting shit. You in particular, you always have been. I used to be disgusted by these things. Now I just ate a piece of corn from his asshole. That was my intestine. Oh, I did come from the asshole too. But like, yeah, well, end of the day, like think, look at the positives. We fucking saved the world. That's so true, Nathan. We saved the fucking world again. It's funny you mentioned you being desensitized to it. I th- I think it was Joe Rogan I was watching. He was saying um, he's seen so many fights and he's seen so many people get knocked out. It's not quite. It's not that shocking to him anymore to see someone badly injured. Well, it's a normal thing in life, right? Yeah, yeah, if eating you, your if own you're shit. in war and you see some cunt blow up and then you shoot someone, it just becomes normal. Quite normal, yeah. Yeah, you do anything often enough and it's normal. Um, and yeah, I guess living and being around... Uh, it's rubbed off on you. Yeah, it's it's sort of like, oh, it's not so disgusting anymore. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's great. Thank you for that. That's all right. Yeah, no, it's good. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's no, great. It's great to see. So anyway, we got a great podcast in store for you. We got fucking Jackson O'Doherty. He's just fucking rocked up. He's just fucking knocked on the door. He's fucking come in. And he's fucking disgusted at how Michael's place smells. Yeah, he didn't like the smell. We've come down to the basement now and he's upstairs in Michael's bedroom. And he's going to come on a little bit later. All right, we're going to do the diary entry first. Yeah, yeah, Jackson, you'll be on soon. He's just he's just wants to get out of here. So we'll get him on as soon as as soon as these diary entries are done. We'll get him on here. Um, and uh, yeah, what what else have we got in store? We got we got a prank call coming. We got a PO unboxing. We got some goodies sent in. Yay! <laughs> we got the German segment, of course. <laughs> we have a successful hunt. <laughs> we have some questions. He just ripped. We have a successful hunt. Hair out of my Chappelle Corby. Leg. <laughs> so stay tuned. It's going to be a gangbusters, bitch. Uh, sit down uh, if you need a minute. Have a quick bong. Go and smoke some weed right now. If Speaking of, should we? Or we'll wait for a little bit. Yeah, well, let me just... Let um, me. Pardon? Sorry. Who? On this day. I mean, diary entries. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Diary entry number 209 from Michael Brookhouse. I woke up with vomit down my back. I must have rolled in it last night. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> being gross is so funny. Fucking <laughs> 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 disgusting cunt. <clears throat> Diary entry number 96 from Marty. Awesome night out with friends last night. Even managed to have a win at the pokies. Don't even remember that one. <laughs> Diary entry number 892 from Matthew Gregory Brown. Please be short and sweet. You know that that won't be, Matthew. It is long and in-depth. Just like the sickness in your brain. (laughs) Oh, oh, no. The sun kissed my skin as I rode my bicycle around the park. Children were playing, families were laughing, and my little brown was rolling around in my pants. (laughs) The day was perfect. I close, I close my eyes and lift my head, and then it happens. A distinct scent swirls up into my nostrils. My eyes shoot open and my no- nose twitches back and forth, trying to locate the smell. My nose locks on and I turn my bicycle towards the source of the smell. The smell intensifies as I get closer. I can tell it's a group of teenage girls, one of whom is menstruating. I can smell that they've been talking about boys and blood starts rushing into my little brown as my arteries dilate. I'm now pedaling as fast as I can and I can feel adrenaline flooding through me. I don't even realize that I'm screaming. I see the group of girls sitting in a circle and hone in on the one bleeding. My nostrils are fully flared and my eyes have never been wider. I pedal harder and harder 
harder and the girls see me steaming towards them. They don't have time to process what is happening as I hammer straight into the back of one of the girls. I hear her ribs break and air being smashed out of her lungs. The contact sends me flying over the handlebars and I fly straight at the one bleeding from her slit. Arms outstretched and still screaming, I manage to maintain eye contact with her until I feel my skull connect with hers. I must have been travelling at close to 50 kilometres an hour and the force knocks her unconscious instantly. I stand laughing, looking down at the unconscious teenager. My little brown attempts to pull me closer, but I resist the urge and play with my sweating testicles instead. Sorry about that, I say loudly as the teenage girls scramble away. (laughs) The girl I ran into with my bike was wheezing on the ground, and the period girl was still deeply unconscious. Clean this up, I demanded her friends. They were crying and trembling with fear, which made my gills itch. My job here was done. I pick up my bike and make my way home. I gently whistle to myself as I finally come. I was wondering when that would happen. <laughs> what a wonderful life. <laughs> the girl with the period, the period one, the slit, the fucking... Imagine hitting someone's back at that speed with a bike. And then using that impact to launch yourself at the other girl. And then skull, skull hit her, not skull fuck, skull, skull. So your arms would have been either size of her head, right? And then your skull just would have been bang dead on at 50 (laughs) k's an hour. That's fucking disgusting. And you had itchy gills? I like that one. I'm all for that. As long as no one was hurt. It sounds like no one was hurt. Do you even remember these? I have no memory. At all of that. He did used to have an that's opioid why, problem. Well, that's why his psychiatrist told him to make a diary because he would black out. That's why oh, I forgot. Lust off, they call it. Yeah, you switch you're off when so you're so horny that your brain goes off and you aren't able to store memory. Remember? No. Wow, see? Holy shit, man. I've actually witnessed one. You gotta stop smoking your pubes. You're getting stupid. Dummy. <laughs> 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 Is there any gas today? Anyway. I got a harmonica. I don't know if I said that last week. <laughs> Some of were too expensive, so we got a harmonica. It's ready. Can you have a little play? Because there's the only chance you'll get to it play hasn't it. hasn't touched us yet. No, I've, I've put it deep within my mouth, though. So we got a harmonica and I'm going to insert it into my crack lengthways. Yeah, because that's all right. You don't mind that touching your asshole because it the rest enter. is touching the crack. And Because well, you, you can't push that into my yeah, ass like yeah, that. Yeah. So yeah, it's Oh, fine. yes, it's going to work. And then, um, yeah, like you hold it there and I'll, <laughs> I'll be pushing on it. I'll be giving it a bit of pressure though. I haven't had you- much gas today. I haven't had much gas today. All right, boys. But no, nah, I have a good feeling about this. We could finally play an instrument with far. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's Imagine cool. if we ha- when we have when this has happened like twenty times and we can make a fart song. Oh. Put all of the sounds together. Fart. See, like fart. We, art. we we deal with serious issues, but we're also very creative and we're we very like lighthearted. We we create art as well. We're just we're just good good chaps who don't mind a bit of a laugh. <laughs> it's like that. What's that fucker who made that woman in? France, that fucking old lady. Cleopatra? Mona Lisa. Oh, the uh, painting. The... We're like that person. Who painted Mona Lisa anyway? Um, Leonardo da Vinci. That's us. I'm Bullshit. pretty sure. Was it really? Pretty sure. Bullshit. <laughs> That's have us. You, have you not seen the da Vinci code? No. Nah. What, is she in it? Mona Lisa? Yeah. Is she a real person? She's... <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure they didn't know who she was. She looks kind of shitty. All right, guys. Now, this next <sighs> person, you may know him from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Hey, and even fucking TikTok. He's been around the world. He's done some crazy shit. He's fucking... He's the fucked hard. Silly Salmon. He is the Silly Salmon. So, please, everyone... Put your hands together for Jackson O'Doherty. Let's give him a second. Jackson. (laughs) 
did you see? Did you blow on the sheets? I just jerked off in his bed. I didn't put it all over your shit, but I left the tissues on the ground. Now, Jackson, we're going to answer some questions together, okay, mate? It's a little bit further away from the mic. That's better. <laughs> He's being Riley Reed. All right, on, let's on get let's get some questions logo. fucking fired down at us, cunt. <laughs> All right, first question is from oh. Hilly Kush. This is my mic. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah. Can I like move it down so it's oh, not? Yeah, yeah. you can Lock have a camera for my man, You can deep space. throw it. You can have it, man. Take Before it. Before anyone starts, the last time I was on this podcast, I saw the comments, I read them, and people said that I didn't see myself, and I'm going to answer to that. I wasn't myself. I was very hot. It was the middle of summer. It was boiling in here. I was irritated. <laughs> I was going through a bad day. I'd just come off my uh, antidepressant medication. So my mental state was a very up and down, very confused about a lot of things. But I can happily, proudly say that I'm back on a very good um, mindset right now. I'm motivated, happy, healthy, training a lot. I've um, been filming a bit too, getting back into it. So yeah, it's good to be back, guys. On with the questions, so, Matt Brown. So just ja hurry the fuck up. Jackson will be reading the comments on this as well, guys. Um, the first one is from Hilly Kush. Um, she was asking, will there be season four of this podcast? That's not for me, is it? Uh, yeah, that's so sorry, that's it's not. <laughs> Jackson, can, should we have a season four? Oh, wait, you were asking me that. Yeah, man. Oh. All, the, all these questions are for you. Do you watch our fucking podcast? I haven't watched one episode. <laughs> you. you yeah, I bet you know, it. I you've subscribed. Only, you've only watched the ones with you. I actually, do you know what I did one day when I was super fucking high? I made like 800 accounts on YouTube and subscribed to your thing. So 800 oh, of your subs is from no, me. No, I was worried that that would happen. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, what, is that your natural hair? <laughs> yeah, dude. I've just washed it. This is what it looks like after I wash it. And I'm not on coke and I'm not on drugs. I just speak fast. I have ADHD. I'm just naturally a fast talker. So just fuck off. We're all drugless right now, except for weed. That's the weed isn't drug. It's plant. It's salad. Yeah, exactly. Cunt. You're just having a fucking salad or not. On Holy it's shit. salad. That is a good way to say it. What? Weed is salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, there will be a season four, of course. There, this, yeah, this podcast is is becoming we a, love a home. It's yeah. becoming a home. We love it here. Yeah, I we love up. we love doing this every week, and it's good oh. to see the growth. It's made it's we motivating. Love it, you love it. Oh. Jackson's having a scroll. Oh. His attention has gone. <laughs> no. I'll be having conversations with Jackson, and he's just like this. Yeah, and fucking well, Julian's worse. Julian's even worse. No, Julian, I'm, wait. You guys just give me a break. I've been really good. My screen time's down like 60%. Just some cool shit happened before and I was really excited what, about what it. What is your screen time? And I, and I probably missed my window. Let's all have a look at our screen time right now. Three hours and 24 minutes today. It's not here. I can't see mine. It's filming. Oh, my daily average is six hours. Mine. Michael would have double mind. But too. we work from our phones though. Bear that in mind. Yeah, yeah. me also. But like, I'll put my, I'll put like a podcast on at <laughs> no. night. When I'm going to bed and it will play for like, or even listen to That's binaurial beats. Time though. Yeah, because the screen's on. No, you lock it and listen to it. Not when YouTube's on. Why don't you pay for YouTube Premium? You can lock your phone and listen to it. Why? Why not? <sighs> Why not just have the free binaural beats? Is no ad. Leave your phone open and then you just uses your battery. No, I face it down and I've got the charger in. <sighs> Fuck! I wish I didn't come here. <laughs> <laughs> you blew in my bed. That's me. <laughs> oh yes, it is me. Little Jackson, huh? Little little cock. The million dollar dick. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys getting into crypto? Have you done any trading much? Yeah, Jackson just helped us set up a little trust wallet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're getting into crypto. I know there's a bit of a dive and, and it's a bit unknown at the moment, but it's good because now that all the prices are lower, you can start buying shit again. But don't don't buy out of your means. You know don't what you know what you know what my little old saying is about at the moment? Crypto's on sale, lads. Exactly right. But he did uh, say no, Lockie, that. Lockie told me that one. I'm not going to claim it, but I probably told Lockie at some stage. He did. He did say that when he walked in. He said, "I've that. made up everything." <laughs> but yeah, get into fucking crypto, but not too much. You're tickling me. I'm not, sorry. Okay. Hey, not financial advice, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't know yourself. shit about this. We just get told to do things from other smart people, and we're just and laying that to you. In all seriousness, guys. Oh, don't touch me under the table. Why don't you shut up? I'm trying to help these people more than you ever will. <laughs> <clears throat> don't invest what you're not willing to lose. That's don't, exactly right. Said. Don't just go like, oh, I'm going to put a thousand dollars. And then if it goes down, oh, I stole my money. It's your fault. Oh. It's practically gambling, but it's not. Like, yes, there's a good chance you're going to make more money. But 
If you can't stomach losing the money you're putting in, don't fucking do it. Just do small little dribbles and do it more often. Yeah, like, just ease into it. Do it and do some of the safe ones to start with. Maybe Bitcoin or something. Ethereum. You don't have to put much in. You just put in like a hundred bucks. Ethereum's good. So, next question, my flying, my flying bra. Man, the last time I was on here was like, I swear this podcast used to be funnier. Yeah, I know. What happened? I don't know, man. You need to get rid of Michael. Um, next question is from James Kirkpatrick. Uh, do you guys have a bad area of Brisbane, uh, such as other, you know, like, you know, slum areas where, you know, people go and do pranks in like really dangerous parts of their cities? Yeah, every city's got them areas. Does Brisbane have one of yeah, them? Of course. We got Logan. We got Woodbridge. Tagum. Take Jazilmia uh, just down the road with fucking this is this is a this is yeah there's fucking heaps of slums around Brisbane mate. It's not as bad as others. And then the though. follow up was, uh, would you ever go do pranks there in those? Suburbs? Yeah, no fucking worries, man. We're gonna go back to universities and start doing pranks there, even though we have lifetime bans from all universities. It was the place we did the spicy burger? Was that a uni? Yep. QT Kelvin Grove. Did you just uh, call me a cutie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next question is from Noah Jasek. Jasek, um, what are your childhood nicknames? Oh, fuck. Martin Farton. <laughs> Martin Farton. Um, um, Mickey. Mickey. Oh, shut up. Like from adults. Hey, Mickey. We had Michael was called Dirty Michael in high school. Oh yeah, he's dirt bagging when I'm. Nothing's him. changed. His <laughs> fucking windows don't open. His house stinks. <laughs> Record for no shower was two weeks. Oh, that's impressive, man. That's cool. Yeah, well done. I'd be that's very, cool. very proud of that. Thank you. It's on yeah, his resume that I'm not I wrote. really proud of it. I've just done it. Did you have a nickname in high school, Jack? Yeah, Jacko. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah it would be. Too. No, no, no. Can I say it? No. <laughs> Brim? No. <laughs> Brim. <laughs> Prim. Prim? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't really have any nicknames, to be honest. When I told Michael, it was just a G up because I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'd like that. Prim's like, a good word. It is a good word. <laughs> but I, I can see why. <laughs> All right, Do you have any good questions? <laughs> oh, maybe. I don't know. No, next question is from DeFlow. Um, and all three of you can answer this. Um, what would your daily routine look like if you were all in a nursing home in 40 years? Oh, fuck this. Oh, if we we're all living together in a nursing home? Yeah. Man. I'd probably be like shitting and throwing it at Michael. Yeah, yeah. Ma but Michael would be already basking in his own shit. Michael wouldn't move. <laughs> Michael, would, Michael would get the nurses to do absolutely everything for him. He'd have a big ball patch in the center of his yeah. head, but still have long hair. Uh, yeah. Thank Let's you. come on this table in that little jar. Michael White. Yeah, have you seen arm. the cum? Oh, I guess. Oh, it. Did we tell the podcast for a video that, you know, that cum that we got sent? This Michael, is the previous video to Michael, the last UOM video. Michael wiped it on his arm and like wiped, rubbed it in <sighs> to see if it irritates the skin. So, in the last two Fuck University me. of Michael videos. Oh, listen to this. Oh, wait. Yeah, what about this then? Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, that's better than what I can do. Speaking of shits. I haven't shat on the podcast oh, yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to try that now? Yeah. All right, Michael's going to... Just continue. I'll keep... Continue I'll, with the questions. I, I haven't got to shit or anything, but I'm going to try one. I reckon if you stimulate your bum ass... Yeah, I'll finger it a bit. Yeah, just the rim of it. Let me know if you need a hand down there, Mom. Next question is from Dan Dillo. Um, I've got to go to the dentist uh, very soon. Um, he's had quite horrible experiences in the past. Um, so you wanted to know, have you guys ever had any bad experiences going to the dentist? I never go. I hate oh, them. Terrifies me. I hate the dentist. Yeah, uh, those. I stopped going to the dentist. You know, they used to bring the dental Tell vans. Them the story, yeah. They used to bring the dental vans to school, and that you you could go for free every year. Mm. But my mum signed the form, and then I just didn't hand it in. So that then I was never on the dentist list. And I because I wasn't on that year, I wasn't on the previous year, the next year, the next year, and I never had to go to the dentist. And I didn't go to the dentist for twenty something years. And you're only twenty something years old. I'm only. And, but it wasn't too bad when you actually went. No, it was. I just just like two fillings or something. I brush very aggressively and and try and I don't even floss. It's just that yeah, the dentist can get fucked. They are terrifying. There's a good one in America that I usually would go to and he makes it not terrifying. That's why, that's what overcame my fear. He gives you a bunch of laughing gas and like- What, what does laughing gas do? Do you just Just laugh? makes you not really give a fuck about it. You don't get like, you're not high and shit. You just like, you just laugh lots and you don't really give a fuck about like what's happening. Can you, what are you- Michael you know? is trying to shit right now, Jackson. Oh, 
I reckon I can do it. Ah, it's okay. hard because the seat pressure. Yeah, it's not, you don't have. Oh, we talked about this. You got to get a hole in your seat, and you've so got to stand up with. Like, you got to sit with your knees up higher. I'm so going to sit while sitting down. All right. Well, let's continue with the questions and just see if Michael can go boom boom in his nappy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michael make boom boom. Oh, look how Ree's hard, it's trying very hard. Oh, it's like a workout, dude. Oh, you don't yeah, grab yeah, my dick. Yeah. Don't wear undies with them sticking out like that, and I won't grab so it. Have you seen my bruise? No. You like it? Next question. <sighs> I'd rather not watch a thirty-year-old try and shit in his chair. <laughs> uh, Thirty-one, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oh fuck! I was so close. Man. But ever since they hit a mill on Facebook, I've not seen them kiss once. Fame changes people, man. <laughs> Fame changes people. It fucking changes people, man. Straightened us right out. All right. Next question is from Bridgewater's finest. Um, Are you all right? Yeah, dude. I'm so close. It's like poking out, dude. What's uh, it like being the heroes of our time? Oh, so good. Uh, it's it's easy. <laughs> so good while I was it's, trying to shit. It's fucking. Look at this. We, we, are, <laughs> we are fucking heroes, and Michael's sitting here trying to go boom boom, huh? <laughs> no, nah, it's fucking. It's just, I need a piss. Fuck just it. let it all out because yeah, you're gonna have it. to throw the undies away. One anyway. of these mugs or something. Um, being a hero is uh is easy when it's when you're born to be a hero. Uh, hey, you're forgetting something. Pardon? You're forgetting the most important part. With great power comes great set. response cards. Cards, yes. <laughs> I did it! I did it now! Okay, I think we have uh, lift off with Michael's poo poo. Did you really shit yourself? Oh, oh that's fucked. This is going to fill the I'm sort of room. Wait, I'm waiting for the smell to All hit. Right, the moment it smells, I'm out of here. <laughs> This leads perfectly into the next question as well. Jackson hates smells. No, I don't mind smells. I just don't mind very good with shit. Oh, fuck off. You got to see it. Oh, no. I can see it. No. There's a wet patch there. That's oh, fuck what? off. Oh, no. He's pulling his pants. Oh, oh. Ah! oh my God. Dude, 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 dude. Is it in my cheeks? Yes, it's in your fucking cheeks. It's <laughs> everywhere. I can smell it. I can smell it now. Oh my god! Oh, I'm leaving. Can I send a video of Lockie? Oh, yeah. oh. Show the fucking camera what you've done. No, well, you got a blow. Michael gone boom boom. No, no. Oh, don't no. don't let it fall out of your ass. <laughs> Why does it look like that? Oh, it looks like a perfect ball. <laughs> Oh, oh, so much there's shit. No moisture in and then blood all next to his ass from the video that we filmed today. Oh, yeah, that got out of hand. That sounds weird, doesn't oh, it? Oh, fuck. No wonder we're not monetized. hard to do. Yeah, watch YouTube put 15 ads in this. <laughs> I'm just going to sit with it. I feel like I'm, I'm just going to sit with that. I feel like I just. What do you. What do you think of your oh. career sitting with us? <laughs> what? <laughs> What do you think of your career? I don't know. Like when I compare this to when I went on Logan Paul's podcast, very oh. much the same. Very much the same. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's now eh? it it fully 30, smells like shit. I'm breathing. You know, Thirty-year-old men shitting in their underwear and showing their other thirty-year-old <laughs> friends, and you know, <laughs> that is oh, truly like, shocking. Well, this doesn't Squishy. smell like that bad. I'm, I can tolerate that. It leads perfectly into the next question. Oh my god! <clears throat> Will you ever shit yourself? No. Uh, next question is from Lake McBurgan. Um, have you guys tried or would you try colon cleansing? I've done them. Yeah, Jackson's done colonics. Them. I've done like three or four colonics. Was it good? Hydro colonics though. They're not the ones with like the enema where you feel your whole stomach and then one big release. It's like a little bit release, a little bit release. They're like more chill. They're still pretty awkward feeling, but I just go there to get the thing in my ass and I back up on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, it's like yeah. getting fucked for free, but you're not gay. Wait, like, so can you go a bit more in depth? So is it a machine that you push so up So there's on? like an oxygen sort of thing and that pumps a bit of the oxygen and the water into your stomach, which will puff it out a little. Yeah. And it almost feels like you're going to shit. That's when you tell them <coughs> that the pressure It's like, okay, I feel like uh, there's a pressure. They'll release all that and it'll just flushes slowly out. It just, fu- <laughs> it just flushes out slowly through the slowly. little tube that's in you. Um, and you see, do you want to see a video of the pieces that were coming out? No. 
Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, they're very good for you, eh? Heaps good for you, man. Like, fuck yeah. off, cunt. I've heard things. Like, when I did it, I you can lose a lot of weight. I think, like, the first time I did it, I lost, like, close to two kilo, maybe? Well, they, they reckon there's, like, 20 pounds of, you can, like, You can hold up colon. to 25 pounds of toxic waste in your colon that yeah. can stay there for over 10 years from dairy, like, high fucking- um, How many kilos is that? What, 25 pounds? It's probably like eight or nine kilo, maybe roughly. Whoa, that's fucked up. Maybe Sorry. eight kilo, I'm assuming. Are you Googling it? Yeah. I reckon 10. I think it's like eight or nine kilo for 25 pounds. I'm going to go with I 30, reckon it's, 30 I kilos. Reckon it's 10 and a half kilos. Backwards. We going 25 pounds? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say eight or nine. I'm going to say 30 kilos. Whoever's wrong has to do a line of Michael's shit. All right. 25 pounds is 11.3 <laughs> kilos. Yes. That's not too bad. That's a lot of weight. So I said 10 gun. and a half. That's so much weight. But you're supposed to do at least three of them in like the first month or two so it can really target because each time you do it, it will go a little further and deeper up into your like colons and oh, that. Cool. Um, you can see parasites come out on the camera. You can watch it all coming out on the on the screen yeah, and that. Earthworms. Yeah. It's, pa- it's painless. It's painless and it's... Um, sometimes it's pleasure. I wonder what, what, do what it. parasites you would have in you. You'd have heaps or you are a parasite. Wait, that was a very unhealthy... Yeah, well, parasites have myself. parasites in them? It was a very unhealthy shit that's wedged between. All I've had today is very fruit black salad. It was a black shit. Ooh, I think like I'm going to do it. Rock blood in the stool. I think I'm going to do it, bro. You'll feel amazing. Ooh, My, yeah, oh, shit. No. Hey, on a serious no. note. <laughs> On a serious note, on the educational side, my like mental space was so good after it. Like, cause even like little parasites, you don't see all the parasites coming out. They're not big fucking things. It's like microscopic. But when you get rid of that stuff that's in it, can fuck with like your, cause your gut bacteria, your if your gut, gut bacteria is out of whack, mm. if you've got too much bad or even too much good or not the right balance, completely fucks with your mental space. Your thoughts can fucking all kinds of shit. But when you get those, fuck shit out of your gut my headspace was amazing after it was so clear and just calm and like it was good shit we did it one of our friends james he showed us how to do coffee enemas so we yeah. shoved coffee up our ass a couple of times that sounded fun too yeah i think we put too much coffee in oh. i was fucking oh. jittery as that's what you do when you in your 30s your friendship bond by sticking a by shoving things up yeah, your shove, ass shove and shove watching your, your mate to shit his pants and oh, we'll do one more question um, last question is from Addison Lee 49 um, were you guys friends with Matt whilst he went through his stalking phase yeah and to be honest he fucking hit it very well like I always knew there was something a bit weird this Matt yeah like I always knew there was something weird he'd always like want to leave parties early and want to get home by like 6 you're a PM. stalker <laughs> and um yeah it was i can see that very well hidden like always knew there was something yeah I, yeah <laughs> now, now when you mention it it's all pretty evident yeah and now hearing reading these diary entries it's like yeah it makes a lot it explains a lot of shit but holy he stopped shit. he has stopped holy shit that explains a lot haven't you well i did recently go to jackson's house so now i know that where he lives Bro, do you know when we were going home from toka the first night lock he's like dude i think matt's a bit of a stalker <laughs> yeah, he said that to me too. I didn't believe him. Lockie said it the whole way home. He didn't sleep. I thought his name was Stalker. He put garlic all outside his door in case Matt came. <laughs> That's why he vampire? spent the spent the weekend in Garden. Need to get away. Because <laughs> Matt knows where I live now. <laughs> Next segment. Keep the comment. Keep the questions coming, guys. All right. And remember, the most liked questions will be the one that Matthew reads out. Matt. Fucking sick, man. You are fucked in the head. Or just comment because we will read every single comment yeah, and reply back and to Matt, them. And Matt will re- reply to oh. nearly all of them. Oh, no. This shit's gone through Fucking the chair. Oh. Shit. I didn't want that to happen. Well, you're wearing undies. What did you expect? Oh, oh it's so much wetness now. Did Why it is it so much more? Yeah, it's like a wet mark on the oh, chair now. At least you know which chair is his now. Oh, I can smell the baby. Fuck. Oh. I can smell the garlic oh, baby. so much more podcast to get. Th- oh, I regret uh, it now, man. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, why so early? Oh, fuck. Anyway, uh, what, what are you? what's new with you? Hang on a second. All right. I'm getting a call from Vitaly. <laughs> Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> 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 Look at that fucking log! Vitaly <laughs> just got his dick out. <laughs> He's banging. 
Um, Michael looks so uncomfortable it's sitting there. It's just like awkward squished <laughs> up. I've got shit in my pants. Fucking hell. Who did that though? No one told you to do it. Oh yeah, well I said I had to. Then don't fucking complain. You shit your own pants. Yeah, well past me did this. <laughs> you can't shit your own pants and then yeah, complain. I have to deal with it. I said I had to do this in previous podcasts. Hence why I did it. Then you can't complain. Shut up. Yeah, but that was me back then. Now it's now. Present, present Michael is uncomfortable. <laughs> I still disagree. We'll agree to disagree. No, well, I just disagree. We're in uh, our 30s. That, is, that is the questions for today. We are fully grown men. We are, Don't cut this out, Connor. We are in our 30s. And we're going to open some shit that you guys have sent to us. And we'll open this one. Uh, good luck, everybody. This is the PO unboxing. If you want to send us shit, we open it live on the podcast. Oh, fuck. There's I wonder the PO what box. Lockie's PO box is. So I can just get around and send him a bunch of fuck shit. Yeah, cut your pinky off and send it to him. Yeah, right. Ooh. Oh, no. I don't want to look in any of that shit. Yeah, people spider. send us fucked up shit. You've got to be spider. careful, Jackson. There could be anything. Yeah, that's why I don't want to open anything. Oh, be careful, Michael. That looks dangerous. Well, this says... <gasps> Toenails. Is it? It's a bunch of fucking toenails. Oh, no. We have to put them in our mouths. Yes. What is it? They're toenails. Oh, no. Donut Films. I recognize that. Yes. Donut Films is a regular commenter. To Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's skin. Open it up and have oh, a it might be a skin. I don't know. I do recall him saying something about he's going to send it. This oh, is, I got this is his foot skin. <laughs> It's his foot skin. It's fucking putrid. <laughs> Dead foot skin. <laughs> Dead foot skin. <coughs> what um, about we sprinkle it on the poop? Oh, this is turning into the most fucked I've had enough. I've ever, it's ever been It was lovely to see everyone. This isn't my cup of tea. <laughs> I hope you all have a beautiful evening. I'm going to get away from the shit smell and the poo in his undies and the skin. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> it was great to come on. <laughs> it was great having you. See you later, lads. <laughs> we'll fucking call you soon, all right? We'll, we'll come over this weekend. Can you move over physically? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, that was a beautiful goodbye. <laughs> so good. Ah, uh, thank you, uh, Jackson O'Doherty, for joining us. For our, uh, oh man, time. okay. All right, so Michael's just been sent skin. What type of skin? Foot skin. You have to put a piece in your mouth. Just sit it on your tongue and see how you feel. Oh, is this really gonna happen? <laughs> What's it smell like? I'm okay with the yeah, smell. Yeah, the smell's not. I shouldn't. Have a sprinkle it on my face. If you're okay with the smell, oh, like a little dandruff. Right. What do we get there, dude? Uh, All right, we'll get back to the foot skin. I want to see uh, the good this stuff. This is first. this is. I think someone's just sent us a bunch of, of our own cards. So there it says Marty and Michael, fully actual scientists. Oh my god. And we have we've, we've fucking business cards. Holy this is a whole fucking. Oh shit. my god. Revolution print. They're fucking sick as well. Look at them. They feel really cool. Can you hold that up to the camera, Matt? Just give everyone is this a like geese. a. Do they want a, a shout out? Is well, let's open the letter. Out. There's a letter in here. Wow. We are fucking using them. Show the hard. other side. All right. <clears throat> here it says. To Marty and Michael, as you are fully actual scientists, we thought, how can you be the best without the best business cards? Anyway, enjoy and keep breaking scientific records from the best printer, Leon, Revolution Print, at Revolution Print. Fucking oath. Thank you, Revolution Print. I love them. some fucking cool. And yeah, dude, look at awesome. this. Look at this. They've got like examples of the types of cards they can do here. And man, they feel, this one feels like leather. <coughs> this one feels like fucking heaps cool. And they've got all their, uh, oh, their Leon yeah. Wilson, the director. There you go. If you guys need printing needs, this these like I don't know much about business cards, but these look fucking. They look pretty damn good. Leon, thank you very much. Revolution Print. Yes, we have fucking business cards now. That's let's, pretty rad. Let's put one up here. One here. Hey. Yeah, I'll stick one side and then the other side around. Yeah, we'll put them up in the podcast. That's great news, and we must always carry at least one of these in our wallets, okay? Yeah, fuck. At all fucking times. Do you understand? Yeah, that is a cool, cool gift. Thank it's you. Gonna, now, like, it just feels cool. Here's my card. Yeah. And it makes the foot skin seem kind of gross now, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty upset about that one. This has been a very up and down episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all dude. right, Michael, I reckon just 
Just place one on your tongue and I'll pick it off for you if you like. You've got shit in your pants and skin on your face. It's my own. Hey, but at least you got a business card. <laughs> it's my own. They've hardened and they're like fucking yeah, nails. Yeah, they've hardened. If they were soft and sticky, it'd be worse. Oh, man. Those Here we go, Donut Films. This is your uh, time. Man, there's like mold on one of them. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> oh, no. I was just about to fucking eat these. <laughs> you still can, dude. Oh, really? <laughs> look like little maggots in your hair. <laughs> oh, there's one just hanging. I've gone and poured the skin on his head. <laughs> and he's put it in his mouth. He's got the foot skin in his mouth. Oh, he's letting them. Oh, there's skin everywhere. There is fucking oh, skin oh, everywhere. Oh, 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 oh my god, dude. Oh my god. There is skin all through your hair. There is dead skin everywhere, dude. Oh my god. Do we have to blow this? Oh my god. Oh my god, Matt. Get a towel or a gun. Oh, he put all that foot skin in his mouth. All of the dead foot skin, Jackson. Oh. <laughs> I don't like that. That was the past me that did it, Jackson. Don't you fucking put that in his mouth. I didn't know that was yours. Sorry, I was just looking for the news. Oh my god, what does it taste like? I think it's like skin, foot skin. So it just tastes alright? Yeah. Well, oh. not really. That shit's all fun. What, is it salty or what? Fuck me. I didn't- I- I can't remember, dude. Uh, so you didn't actually taste it? That's some of the most fucked shit I've ever- I just watched you put some random sports skin on your neck. You've got shit in your undies. No! No, man! Dude, stop getting that shit so close to me, dude. Holy fuck, please! Anymore. Oh, I can smell the shit and the skin. Yeah, I don't you've. Know if I'm ever gonna see him again. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear what Jackson's saying? <laughs> Jackson doesn't want to be friends with you anymore. Oh man, there is a big skid mark on the chair now too. What is happening? What is happening in this podcast? Oh, boy. oh, oh, the smell is growing. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's just not on. And I'm sitting in the. Shit Let's now. get through this. Let's okay. fucking get through this, man. We're going to move on to the hunt. And last week we said we'd mes message Chappelle Corby and ask her if she. If her sister, Mercedes, is a car or a human. And she replied, I will now read you the conversation. And then I went and did something quite cheeky behind Michael's back. Didn't I, Matt? Yes. See? We said to her, Hey, Chappelle, hope it's flowing well for you. We were just having a chat at breakfast and were wondering, is that old sister of yours a car or human? And she replied, she said, human, though she's due for a good service with a <laughs> wink face. Which I thought was a very good reply. So she's, she's, she's good. She can make fun of herself. And then, um, you know, I was like, oh, ha, ha, blah, blah, blah. And then I, uh, Michael mentioned that you find her quite attractive. I reckon she's cute. Yeah. So Michael has a bit of a crush on Chappelle. So without Michael- I didn't want you to fucking do no, this. No, yeah, I was just about to say, without Michael's knowledge, I started messaging her, pretending like I was Michael and I asked her if she was seeing anyone. And uh, I admitted that Michael has a crush on her and she's like, oh, I'm old. Um, and uh, she sort of was dodging the question, avoiding it. So I don't think she was um, keen, but it's like a little bit keen. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's a slight interest. I don't, I don't want to go on a date. Yeah, so Michael found out about this and um, said no, he doesn't want to go on any dates. He just wants to fuck chicks. Just fuck them. <laughs> Without any dates at all. He just wants to get them over, fuck, not talk, and then just get them out of the house. That's his goal. And so he saw what I was doing with Chappelle. Lies. And um, so we've had to leave that. I asked her to come on the podcast. She's declined for now, probably because she doesn't trust us because Michael was hitting on her so aggressively. Um, but who knows? We might get her on eventually because that would be cool to have. That'd be a f imagine her stories, Matthew Brown. Oh. You fucking you, fucking pig! You stalker! I have stalked her a bit. They would be some good stories. <laughs> she looks really good for forty three, forty four, Michael. Forty four, forty four. Mm. All right, all right. So that's so that's pretty amazing. We found out if her sister was a car or not. 
No headway with Dave Husey Hughes yet, but we're going to have a crack. All right, this week, we're going to fucking get in. And, and so stay tuned for that hunt. All right, time for the prank call. And this week, we're going to attempt to do what we tried to do last week. I'm going to call a tattoo parlor and say that I'm booking a tattoo for my friend. And I want him to tattoo something really vulgar and fucked up on my friend and see what he says. I'm going to try and get the tattoos to tattoo I fuck animals on Michael. But I'm going to tell the tattoo artist that Michael doesn't know that he's getting that tattoo on him. Does that make sense? Afternoon, this is Kira from speaking. Um, hello, uh, my name is Peter. Um, I was wondering if I could uh, please book my, my friend in for a tattoo sometime next week. Yeah, is this for Jessica? No, no, this uh, oh, is f- okay. first time calling for me. My, my, friend, my friend's name is Michael. Yeah. Um, Has and he been to this before? No, no, he he has not been to the tattoo. He has tattoos. I'm not sure where okay. he got them from. This cool. is a uh, birthday present for him, um, okay, cool. for myself. And he says he wanted um, a, f- a fish. The, he yeah. said, you know, the, the fish that people get? Um, people get a lot of different fishes, unfortunately. He, I couldn't tell you exactly what one you're thinking fish. of. It's a religious fish, he said. And he said it would roughly be between 10 and 15 centimeters long and 10 centimeters high. M- my friend thinks he's getting the fish. Um, but we said with my other friends, we had a funny idea and we thought we would request it. Um, instead of when when he thinks he's getting the fish tattooed on him, would you be able to tattoo something else on him? Unfortunately, no, not without his consent. We we would be happy to pay, and it would be funny. We thought if if under the fish we write the words "I fuck animals" under the fish, and then when he sees it. At the end, it's already it's already on him, and it's already too late. Yeah, unfortunately, no, we won't be able to do that without his knowledge. Uh, just what? What if I've? What if we pay more? What if we pay a little no. bit? Because we, do you understand the 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 joke? He would think he would think he's getting the, yeah. f- the fish. Yeah, I, I get the joke. And then and then he sees the. Can't do that. I fuck animals underneath an animal. We thought it would be quite humorous to see what he would say to that. And he is quite a humorous Laughing. guy. You will you will see. He's a very he laughs a lot. So I think I think he wouldn't mind that much. Um, unfortunately, no. Um, we won't be able to do that just because we do need his consent, unfortunately. What um, if we change the the wording, maybe, to something else? Maybe he fucks something else. Uh, maybe not um, an animal. He could fuck inanimate objects. Uh, he could fuck, um, table. He could fuck, um, hair. Any of any words? Which to, one do you think? Which which word should we replace? Do you think maybe? I, I think he has to approve it first. You can't actually. I, I don't think. On him. I don't think he will f- say yes if we tell him, um, "Hey, mate, I want to get I fuck animals under the fish." I don't think he will say yes to that. But I can ask him. But I would prefer to pay more and have the tattoo done without his knowledge. No, unfortunately, we can't tattoo someone without their knowledge and consent prior. But he he consents to the fish. Yep, he can consent to the fish, but he can't consent to the rest of it. So, unfortunately, we can't do that. Mm-hmm. Um, as I previously recommended, if you guys want to pop into the shop, you guys can put down a deposit for a booking, um, and we can talk about the fish designs. But, unfortunately, we can't tattoo anything without his actual consent. So if, right. if he consents to I fuck animals, uh, would you be willing to tattoo that under the fish? Yes, as long as we get his full consent for it and we triple confirm everything, Yes. Okay. The reason I want I fuck animals is a funny story. Uh, many years ago, he uh, was caught on a fishing trip, um, putting a fish on his on his on himself. And so since that day, 
uh, we jokingly say uh, you have have fuck animals, and so that that is why uh, we we think it would be quite humorous mm. to put that under. Yes. All right. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll look. I'll give him a call, and I'll okay. I'll I'll ask him if we can put I fuck animals under his religious fish, and uh, yeah. if so, then I'll uh, come in next week, and uh, we'll get the uh, Jesus fish done up, and um, I'll show you the font for the I fuck animals, and maybe we can work out a reasonable price. Yeah, sounds good. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, oh, flesh in my throat. <clears throat> Jesus. Alright, we'll see you next week. See you next week, Pamela. She said that she'll do the fish. That's it. She said that she'll do the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you call him? Hata? Hashin? 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 She said she'll do the fish. <laughs> 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 she, would have, she, she would have been listening at the yeah, end yeah. like, man, what's wrong with this kind of That last <laughs> little like, coffin of a flur ball. That was fucking very oh, nice. Man. Michael's got shit in his ass. He's got skin in his hair. Oh, and fuck. I think Jackson doesn't want to be friends with us anymore. He'll come back. All right. All right, well, sorry, and we're the best. We're, we're the best. best. We're, we're the B-E-S-T-E. We're the best. We're the B-E-S-T. We're the best. We're the B-E-S-T.